us more or less like about how Denmark is so far how Denmark is and stuff there's one video which is just getting more more and more more view rates which I kind of like somehow but in the comments below I've realized the co the most com Denmark it's more about that and the most comments is as if yeah I'm a typical migrant how I got to Europe if I got illegal to Europe which is the best question well with um, yeah with Denmark so far is a country like I said it is meant to keep people happy you know but, you know here in Denmark we go in the supermarkets we don't wear masks now pretty nice you know but I mean lifestyle let's talk about like the Danish women so I'm at the coast and yeah this vlog I'm making a vlog today just relaxing instead of moving around yeah I shouldn't look more into the lens that everyone knows who I am right yeah I'm now in Denmark like half a year since July now it's August and how yeah this video is just more or less like about how Denmark is so far if I've been liking it or not so far Denmark is a nice country but being here for half a year cannot really say much there is still much to do in Denmark I've been getting around Denmark you know but the cities I got around is just cities just nearby the cities like Bilund cities like Weile these two cities are very awesome, very industrialized places, but they're not big. These are very small. Well, Weile is a small city. Belund is kind of like a village. It's more a town where the Lego is. People know Lego. Lego are the famous toys around, from around the world. Denmark produces those things. And there's one more city I was going to, Federizia. It's also along the coast, 29 kilometers away from here. Well, anyone watching from America, like 29 kilometers, I will just have to figure it out in miles, how many miles it is. And right now, yeah, I hope you can hear me. The wind is calm now, I can just talk a little bit calmer. Yeah, the video right now is more about how Denmark is and stuff. There's one video which is just getting more more and more more view rates which I kind of like somehow but in the comments below I've realized the, co the most comments are racist actually but some people are there supporting saying it's good but I think the most clicks why this video is clicked is because of the title well I don't know if they watch the whole video but I think the title attracts attracts it, you know, that I got deported from Denmark and stuff. Well, what they don't really get about being deported from Denmark, why I also named that video being deported from Denmark, because I got to the border and I had to jump out of the train and go back. So the whole story of this video right now who's watching this video right now about me being deported from Denmark is yeah, I'll just link the video just watch the video just watch the whole video and then say your proper comments what it's about because I was basically talking about the stress I went through when I was coming to Denmark it's more about that and 
the most comment is as if yeah I'm a typical migrant coming in and yeah the, the most comments so also the very very new comment I, I actually I like these comments actually I like them because out of these comments it means I'm getting more views on my videos so which I basically like and there are also more questions of like how I got to Europe if I got illegal to Europe which is the best question well I replied to that person already yeah that video is on taking a flix bus from Nuremberg to Amsterdam it's on that video I'll just link that video I'll link yeah I'll link the video down below actually you know the thing is if you are watching this video out there just follow the story the whole story follow the whole vlog I'm just making I'm a vlogger and I'm just here in Denmark vlogging about Denmark what Denmark has and stuff but how I got to Europe and why I should not go back to my own country and develop my own country it's part of the story so hang on to this hang on to the video hang on to the story and you will know everything you know I, I'm, I cannot just share everything the comments what it's all about you know? so yeah maybe you're not racist or something I misunderstood your comment but some people say I just want money from the state well you can think what you want to think about when uh, what I'm doing in Denmark but anyone watching from that video got deported from Denmark it's the video I'll link down below here just yeah just check it out and maybe this from this video I won't get more view rates but anyway let's talk about Denmark cities are nice atmosphere is good and yeah if you're in Denmark yeah you if you like to be at the coast Denmark is mostly coast everything you're just like around the coast so even if you're like I'm right now like 20 kilometers away from the coast which is so nice I haven't really lived along the coast you know if you're a person who has never seen the sea before and you want to study somewhere in Europe come to Denmark this is the this is the country where you'll be like around the coast this is what I would recommend you I don't know if any Danish person has been to Denmark who lives in Denmark has never seen the coast because if you live in Denmark and you've never seen the coast it will be a little bit strange it will be really strange because it's really surrounded by the coast and it's not that big but I mean if you come from other countries with coasts of course the other countries are quite big so some people have never really seen the coast in whatever countries they live in but if you live in Denmark you live next to the coast it's easy to get from the east coast to the west coast so if you live in whatever place you'll enjoy Denmark if you like the coast I mean if you love the mountains just if you are in Europe you must go more like to southern Germany Austria Switzerland Eastern France southeastern yeah southeastern France that's where you'll see the mountains if you like the warm atmosphere in Europe go to southern Europe like to Spain Portugal Greece Turkey and yeah what I also want to say is people who are just watching right now this is actually more or less a vlog about places I'm going to it's also like a travel channel and I also just talk about the place so when we go to any city I talk, I say the history I'll tell you the history but once you watch the video I know it can happen that you might misunderstand little things about the history I'm talking about so if I tell you the histories of the towns there are, I also link yeah I also say sources where I got the history from so check 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 around the sources and you will you'll find out more about the history of those towns where I go to 
you know and yeah Denmark is more like a Scandinavian country and yeah Scandinavian people I mean Danish people let's talk about the Danish because I mean Denmark so far are very nice people friendly people I think this is the right place I am I mean if you see me in personal I will smile so much I'm in front of the camera so I'll be a little bit shy of course but they smile every time smile 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 and I love the smile because if you are in another European country and you just walk past people smile they'll think like what's wrong with you are you crazy or whatever did you win lotto or whatever but in Denmark it's normal that you're being smiled on and yeah the Danish Denmark the Danish people are known to be the happiest people on earth I mean there are some countries which are poor you'll see people smile as well so it must not always mean just because you are the happiest nation in the world you should be smiling there are some countries which are not the happiest and they don't have much you will see people still smile but there will be other people also not happy oh the wind is going up again i hope you can hear me yeah the tradition i mean this year it was the european cup denmark was kind of happy unfortunately they lost to england but funny enough they they supported England in the finals but you know these yeah I think the Danish are kind of like attached there was a little tribe you know a little Danish tribe Germanic tribe here in the Nordic that went to England those are the mainly Germanic people that went to England the the Anglo the Anglo Germanic people because uh, yeah, in Great Britain the most people are usually Gaelic people so they kind of mixed more like from the with the Germanic as well I mean all around the world there are, there are certain groups that moved around you know even Africa, Asia, North America, South America name it but so far I've been enjoying Denmark been traveling around but this time I want to talk about this well let me just cut 